Hey everyone, it's Catherine and welcome to my kitchen. We are going to continue on our path of Thanksgiving side dishes. And if you're like me and waiting till the last minute, this video is for you. We're going to start with our corn casserole today. So like always, I've got my recipe book. Let's crack open and get to work. So for a corn casserole, the very first thing you want to do is realize that this is not going to be one that comes from a box. So no jiffy in this. What we want to start with is our saucepan. We want to turn it on to medium heat and we're going to start with six tablespoons of butter and we're going to melt that. Basically what we're doing is browning our butter, but we're going to put that into our pan. We're going to let that melt. We're going to keep a very close eye on that because we do not want it to burn. But that's why I put everything right beside my burner so I can have eyes on both things. In my bowl, I can go ahead and start getting things ready for when my butter is done. So in here, I am going to go ahead and put my cornmeal, baking powder, salt, heavy cream, egg, everything like that. But let's go ahead and start with our sugar and flour. So our flour, we are going to need two tablespoons. Enough of that. We're going to go get our sugar. It's getting lighter and lighter each recipe. For this, we're going to just need a fourth cup. And then we need our cornmeal. Now you can get just regular cornmeal from the store, but I was very fortunate to pick up this cornmeal last year at Beaver Creek State Park during their pioneer days. That is a wonderful, beautiful state park if you've never been to it. Um, and the pioneer days that they hold is a really great, uh, kind of it's like a craft fair, but also they have interpreters out there doing different, um, you know, pioneer-esque craft. So uh, my mom, Crafty Nana, is a broom maker, so she was out there kind of displaying her broom making skills. There were folks in Gaston's Mill who were actually cranking out this cornmeal for me. Not specifically for me, but I bought some. So for this, though, we just need one tablespoon of it. Look at that. Fresh made the old-fashioned way cornmeal. Next we're going to need our baking powder. For our baking powder you just need one and a half teaspoons. Easy enough for us. Keeping an eye on that butter, don't forget. Or else we'll have to start the butter over again and that would not make this video go faster. All right, so after our baking powder we need our salt. Salt we're just going to add a little bit. Got our nice Squirrel, we're going to add one eighth tablespoon, which is just a little bit of my tablespoon. Salt is in. All right, giving this a little mix. And next I'm gonna stir in my heavy cream and my eggs. Now, first things first, I forgot my whisk, so I'll be right back. So I've got my eggs, got one, two, no shells, and then we need our cream. And we are going to add one half cup, so we're just adding a half of a cup of our heavy cream, which is good because I need this heavy cream to make ice cream later. I love ice cream. Oh, corn casserole is good too, I guess makes everybody else happy. So I'm going to mix that up. Still keeping an eye on my butter. It's getting melty, but not brown yet. So we'll keep it on there, giving it a little stir as well. Multitasking, if you will. Uh, I'm not a great multitasker, but I'll do my best today. So I have mixed this all together and I can. And if you're out there wondering, how long do I have to stare at this butter? 
about five to 10 minutes. Could go a little bit faster if we are lucky. I'm gonna crank my feet up just a little bit to hopefully make it go faster. All right, so I've got my nice mixture here. Next, I'm gonna fold in my corn. This is just regular whole corn, or whole kernel corn. Um, it has been drained and it is two cans worth. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my beautiful spatula that I got for Christmas last year from my husband and slowly fold in my corn. Just slowly mixing. Doo, doo, doo. Stirring. See, I told you I'm not good at multitasking. I can't pour and stir at the same time. <laughs> All right, let's give that a good fold in. Oop, and my butter is heating up faster. It's almost done. Which is perfect timing because my mixture is ready. Let's give this a little stir here. We'll give that one more second as I make sure that I have done my entire recipe, which it appears that I have. So in regards to our oven, what do we need to put it on? We need to put it on 350 degrees, which I have already done. It is preheated, ready for this mixture. As soon as my butter is ready, which it is, so we are going to take that off of our burner, always make sure we turn off our stove top and I'm blowing on that butter as if it's going to do anything. I'm just going to take that away from the heat for a second and slowly mix in my browned butter. Nice and slow here. It's just lightly browned butter. Got it nice and mixed in there. That is some beautiful looking casserole. And the next thing, and why I put it in this particular bowl, is we need to pour it into our pan. So as we pour it into our pan, as a little spout, we're just going to pour it in nice and slow. And use our spatula to make sure that we get every last drop, because we don't want to be wasteful here. And give it a nice smooth around, make sure that corn's not all sticking in one spot. We're gonna add this into the oven. So we're gonna put it in for three, on 350 for about 40 minutes. <sighs> nice blast of heat from the oven, keeping me toasty. I've got that in. And remember, about 40 minutes. I'll see you in about 40 minutes. So for a corn casserole, we baked it for 40 minutes, but it needed a little bit of extra baking, so it's been a little bit closer to 45 minutes, but let's take a peek at it. So when we pull out our corn casserole, we're pretty happy with the fact that we've got those nice browned edges, but what we can do is we can take our fork and we just pierce it and it comes out clean or mostly clean. If we've got a mostly clean fork, we are happy. We can bring that out. And I've got to tell you, this looks delicious and I'd love to try it, but I am sure it is way too hot. So why don't we let this cool down and we'll taste it in a few minutes. Now it's time for my favorite part. Let's give it a try. This is our corn casserole and We've let it cool down some. Oh, it smells so good. And it tastes even better. It is so good. Husband, would you like to try some? Not so bad? <laughs> okay. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Go home and try this in your kitchen. Get out of mine.